In this video, we're going to continue on with HTML forms, and we're going to look at radio buttons. Now, radio buttons are those small circular buttons that you see on websites, and they are used to take surveys or to ask the user their preference for a particular subject. Now, the key to radio buttons is you only want the user to be able to select one choice. That's all they get with a radio button. They get one choice. Now, in this video, we're just going to set up a simple yes or no choice. And those will be displayed as radio buttons that they can select. So you can see we've set up our labels here, and, and we're just using normal text. We use the input element this time, and we set the type to radio. So this is the type that we use for radio buttons. And you will remember in previous videos that we set this type to different settings if we want a different form. So, for instance, for the one-line text box, we set this to text. But for radio buttons, it is radio. Now, the name has to be the same for all of our radio buttons because these are all considered one question. So to tie them together, you have to use the same name. If you use a different name here, you will be able to select all the radio buttons. And we don't want that. We only want them to be able to select one radio button. Now the value we're not going to worry about, that's what actually gets submitted to the server and we'll deal with that in a future video when we talk about server side code. But just know the value actually is sent as the answer. So for instance, if I answered yes to this question, this is what would be sent to the server where it would be processed. And again, we'll talk about that in a future video. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and there you see we have our two radio buttons and we can only select one of them. Now watch what happens when we put in a different name here. I'll show you this and uh, we'll refresh the page and now you see I can select both of these and again that's why these names have to match. If they don't then you will be able to select both radio buttons and again that's not what we want. We only want to be able to select one. So the two key things to think about here again it, it is some sort of preference or question or survey that you're asking the user and again they only get one choice. Now what if you want the user to be able to select multiple items? Well that's where a checkbox comes into play and we will talk about the checkbox in the next video. See you guys then.